Okay, we have here another integral. We've got the integral from minus pi over four to pi over four of tan x plus one, all cubed dx. Okay, this one is definitely some kind of trap because we have, we have this principle for odd functions. If we have f of x as an odd function and our bounds are symmetric around zero, then we can say this integral is zero. In our problem, our bounds are symmetric around zero, minus pi over four to pi over four, we have an odd function inside of the, uh, the powers odd. And so I can just go ahead and put down the answer of zero, except this is not, this is not gonna be correct because the problem is it's really the plus one. I mean, tan, if we just had tan x cubed, this is an odd function. The test for an odd function, if this is our f of x, we want, if we plug in minus x, we want f of minus x to be equal to minus f of x. And if you do it, it just doesn't quite work. You'll have a minus here. You can bring it out front of the tangent, but you can't bring it out front of the whole thing. So it turns out we need to kind of scrap that and look at doing it a different way. What I want to do on it instead is use King's principle. We have this over here to the right. The nice thing about King's principle in this case, when you add the bounds up, see we're inputting b plus a minus x, the bounds, but when you add the bounds together, it's zero. So this right here, b plus a minus x, this is just gonna be f of minus x. So we'll put a label on the original integral. We'll transform it using this. So this thing is also gonna be i. When we do this using the formula, what happens is the bounds stay the same. So we're still going minus pi over four to pi over four. Then we input minus x. All we're doing is we're gonna change tangent to tangent minus x plus one all cubed. But now here we can still use the fact that tangent is an odd function and take this minus sign out front. So let me make a little space for it. And from here I'll do what works a lot with King's principle is just adding the two together. So when we add these two integrals together, we're gonna to have two copies or two i. The bounds are the same, so that part's fine. We'll just keep that. But now before I add these two together, I'm gonna to wanna to expand it out to see what cancellation we get. So instead of, let's just kind of abbreviate tangent as t. So like when I expand out t plus one, when I cube it, we'll just use Pascal's triangle or the formula or whatever. And this is gonna be t cubed, three t squared plus three t plus one. And then expanding out this one, just a little different, we have minus t plus one cubed, same kind of thing, but we have this minus sign on all the odd terms. So it's gonna be minus t cubed. The even terms are gonna be positive. So it's just gonna look like this. But then when we add it together, we're gonna to get all this cancellation of the odd terms. And then we just have two copies of three t squared plus one. So I can write this as two, three t squared plus one. And then we'll just take this and plug it back in. The two we'll just bring up front as a constant here. Again, t, we're just setting t to equal to tan of x here. So we'll plug back in tan of x. This is gonna become three tan squared x plus one dx. But now this integral is not too bad. We can probably finish this off pretty quick. First of all, we don't really want two copies. So let's divide off two on both sides just to isolate our solution, just get a one there. The other thing we can notice now that this is squared, this is gonna be an even function. For an even function, we can use this property, kind of similar to what we saw before with the odd function. If we have this and f of x is even, we can bring a two out front and reduce the lower bound to zero like this. So using this, we'll turn this to a zero, bring the two out front. And then for tan squared, let's just use the identity here. Tan squared is the same thing as secant squared x minus one. So let me make a little space and see if we can bring this all together. What I'll do is we'll have our two out front, then just need to distribute in the three. So we have three secant squared x minus three plus one minus two dx. Go ahead and integrate. Multiply the two in here. So this is gonna become a six out front. Integral of secant squared is gonna be tan x. Next, distribute in the two minus two. This is gonna be minus four x. We just need to evaluate from zero to pi over four. When you plug zero in, everything's gonna be zero. So let's not worry too much about that. Plug in pi over four. Tan of pi over four is just one. So we have six. 
minus four times pi over four minus pi for my final solution we have just six minus pi and that's it so there you go pretty nice trick although i mean you could have just distributed it out and it wouldn't be too bad just integrating a bunch of tangent terms but i think it did save us a couple seconds okay that's it for today thanks everyone for watching have a good day